spoken enough. Your men can take it from here. Will you permit me to rest? Have something to eat? I thought you don't eat. I can subsist without food. But there is more to the act of eating than nourishment. We receive nature's blessings, and we affirm our part in it. And in doing so, we express our gratitude. <laughs> Sorry, it's, um, hearing you say you don't need to eat and that you're a part of nature in the same breath. Anyway, uh, what can we get you? Not exactly a five-star restaurant, but the kitchen's used to serving a lot of different appetites. Hamburgers. Uh, hamburgers? Even we dinner have become Americanized. I eat them often back home. <laughs> and you just can't let them go. Well, as far as symbols of the American Empire go, hamburgers are pretty good. The victory of capitalism. Hmm. Your people suffered so much at the hands of America. And you asked for hamburgers. We have suffered more than you can know. But I do not see hamburgers as an accomplice. A single dish, providing a balanced helping of nature's blessings. Meat, grain, and vegetable. How could anyone hate such a magnificent thing? Says the guy who can survive on photosynthesis. Balance has nothing to do with it. You just like a good burger. That is also true. Be warned, though. I have very high standards. <sighs> Don't worry. I do too. All right then. One good old-fashioned all-American icon coming up. <laughs> I look forward to it. I hope you bought a better hamburger this time. Kazuhira. Right. Well, the last one was lacking in every way. The patty was too thin, the bun too dry, and the lettuce, days old at best. <laughs> hey, that was a hundred percent all beef patty, and no shortening in the bun either. Mm. Nature's blessings, unadulterated, in hamburger form. Is that it? But when taste falls short, so does our gratitude to nature. Making such precious blessings unpalatable is sacrilege. I... I hate to admit it, but... I think you're right. I should have known better than to settle for second best. That's why I had him run some more R&D, develop a new burger. In fact, one of our researchers just dropped by with the latest results. Here it is. See how you like this. We shall see indeed. I thank you for this bounty, Mother Earth. So? What's the verdict? Mm, not bad. Uh. And? But it does not hold a candle to what I ate back home. <sighs> Everyone's a critic. <sighs> Damn it. I'm sure the Kobe beef... But maybe we didn't have enough. <sighs> we had any more. We're cutting into our profits. Profits? We'll be taking a loss on every unit. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Huh? Oh, uh... Anyway, I'll be back with another round of product. I will be waiting. What did you say? Product? Feeling hungry, old timer? <sighs> old timer? I do not get hungry, no. But you have a new hamburger? You guessed it. And this time we use lamb. Lamb? Uh, you, 
You're not a lamb kind of guy? A hamburger is made of beef. Whoever heard of a hamburger without beef? Yeah, but we gotta stay fresh, stand out from our competition. You're what? Just give it a try. If you say so. Not bad. Caution. But, approaching. but I cannot call this a hamburger. I thought we were onto something this time. Maybe the problem is that it looks like a regular hamburger. Gotta think outside the box. Too much baggage if they come in expecting just another burger. Let's see, cotton candy? To make it look like a sheep? <laughs> yeah. Just a minute. You really think people would eat that? What is it you are planning? Are you using me? A taste tester? A one-man focus group? Well, actually, I already started. I got a place called, uh, Miller's Maxi Buns. You are kidding me. Well, to be honest, business hasn't been great. No one seems to like my, uh, buns. The ocelot said Diamond Dog's budget did not add up. But... You don't mean to tell me. What? No, no, no. Our, our black budget's got it all covered. I'm not embezzling GMP or anything. Still, uh, let's not say anything to Snake, okay? Very well. However, Kazuhira, he takes more than premium ingredients and a clever recipe to satisfy the palate. Okay, so what do we do? The palate seeks one thing. Chemical additives. Chemical additives. There is nothing mysterious or spiritual about good flavor. The tongue simply identifies specific amino acids, which the brain then recognizes as appealing. Therefore, all that is needed is to chemically isolate those amino acids and incorporate them into your products. To be clear, I speak of flavor. The rest is irrelevant. That seems a little extreme. Do not forget that I am a scientist after all. And using science for the benefit of others is a joy. In seeking coexistence with nature's blessings, not everything can remain in its natural form. When we fall ill, we must be treated. Otherwise, that very nature could cost us our lives. Agriculture is one of nature's many blessings. But through that process, we damage the surrounding vegetation. Yeah. Whether it's a massive farm or a tiny field, we always leave our mark on the land. The same is true of parasites. And for food preparation, if tapeworms in the raw meat of another animal enter the human body, they roam around trying to find their usual habitat, sometimes even eating away at the brain in their confusion. So in looking through a scientific point of view, you see the necessity for processing food. Yes. It is also sometimes necessary to eliminate certain parasites or selectively use or even modify others. Alternatively, we could say that if a man is part of nature, the work he does is also part of it. What is important is the balance. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, old timer. You really opened my eyes. <sighs> I fooled myself into thinking people today wanted high-quality, all-natural goods. But my favorite burgers were never about that. What they want is something like the first burger I had in America when I went to meet my dad. A Frankenburger loaded with additives. That's the America I knew and loved. I'll be back in a jiffy, old-timer. 
My next burger's gonna knock your socks off. Kazuhira, wait. What is important is how we balance the... Uh, quick for a one-legged man. Frankenburger. What kind of a dive did your old man take you to? Rise and shine, old-timer. It is complete. I had our best and brightest working overtime, fine-tuning the greatest burger the world has ever known. I call it the Chemical Burger. What on earth is that color? Now, now, don't judge a burger by its color. Go on, try it. I am not very hungry. What? Oh, I get it. Now, sure, it's loaded with additives, but each one's been approved by the WHO for human consumption. Come on, one little bite's not gonna kill you. Are you sure of that? Mm. Fine. <laughs> well, what do you think? It's... 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 It... Is perfect. Right? Right? This takes me back... To the taste of my youth. The neon signs on the mother road. Oh, I can see them now. So, what do you think of our signs now? And it doesn't just taste great. You won't believe how cheap it is to make. And because it's pumped up with preservatives, it won't spoil easily in regions lacking refrigerated storage or transportation infrastructure. This bad boy could even solve Africa's hunger problem. Excuse me? People will no longer fight over food or find reason to hate one another. Mankind will come together, reunited between these fluffy buns. Forget Pax Americana. Say hello to Pax Hamburgana. Pax Hamburgana. Skullface thought that destruction was the way to free the peoples of the world from American imperialism. But this is different. Tackling something head-on just makes for more conflict. Only by uniting the world can its various inhabitants truly become free. Having lived as an American parasite as long as I have, I know what I'm talking about. The Chemical Burger is poised to be the greatest liberating force the world has ever known. An ethnic liberator. Burger. Now all I need is a better brand image, starting with a name. I gotta run, old-timer. I'll catch you later.